a radio and listen to some music and relax on the open desert. Hey, how's it going Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic fan submission video. Now if you guys don't know how this video works is I take a look at your guys' submissions that you send to me. If you guys want to send your own submissions to me, send them to the email address on the screen and we might check them out. So what we have here today is I have a few submissions sent to me by Doge Lord once again. He sends me some pretty awesome creations and they turn out to be pretty awesome. So let's get started. Like I was saying, Doge Lord sent me in a few more submissions. And as you guys can see here, we have like this really nice yacht. We're going to take a look at it in the lift here because there's some pretty entertaining text here. Yes, a yacht in scrap mechanic. Don't worry. However, as you may ask, but Doge, water doesn't exist yet, silly bean. To that I say, shush child, this yacht is special. It has wheels. I'm not going to read it all. You guys can go check out the original link in the description to his workshop and check out a few more of his creations. He makes some pretty awesome things, but to the water thing, I actually have a solution for that. I actually downloaded a mod to allow us to place some fake water on our map. Thanks to the MJM and Durf collaboration for the water mod, we can simulate water even though it's not really water and we could just place it down like this and there we go we have water across the map it's mostly just an illusion though it doesn't actually have any buoyancy or anything like that we can actually look underneath it and it looks kind of weird <laughs> but anyways let's begin we're gonna actually remove this here because we're gonna check out the yacht how it was originally before we placed down the water and as you guys can see here we have this really really nice modern house here. Doge Lord sent me in a previous build with a modern house and that's the one that I said nice way too many times in. <laughs> I'm gonna refrain from saying that too much but it will happen. It, it will happen. But anyways we have another modern house and it looks amazing. Now I did a little bit of modification to this build to kind of fit the theme of this video because we needed a yacht in this video. And we needed this modern house. We got like this little modern house island here. And at the back, we also have another submission that he sent me. We have this flyer here. Now we're going to pop up the lift here. And back here, we have the FK60. Pretty cool. It's supposedly really stabilized and it can do some pretty awesome things. Now it looks a little bland, but that's alright. As he says in here, this build is intended to have max functionality, not prettiness. It has amazing functionality. <laughs> we're gonna check that out in a bit once we're done with these two uh, submissions here. We're gonna check out the yacht first. We're gonna place down the water once we are done checking out the original functions. So we're gonna hop up here and we're gonna go into the driver cab here. Now we're gonna hop in this one here. Actually, I think we're gonna hop in this one here. This one actually lifts up these propellers here. Now, there's no water and the water that we downloaded or the mod we downloaded doesn't have buoyancy or water physics. So these propellers are just for looks. And if we press W, it actually spins the propellers, which is pretty sweet. We're gonna hop in this driver's seat here and we're gonna press one. One will prop out some wheels for us to drive. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And if we press two, It'll have like a little radar up top that spins, but I'm not going to have it enabled because it gets quite annoying. We're going to disable that. And three, I believe, opens up the rear engine compartment. So we're going to hop over this and we're going to check it out. So there we go. We got all the controllers, the engines, and the logic gates. And we're just going to check out the wiring tool. Look at that. That's pretty insane. That's pretty cool. <laughs> So he puts a lot of work into his creations, which is why I really like featuring his builds. We're going to hop back in the seat though, and we're going to close the hatch, and we're going to hop out, and we're going to check out the rest of the yacht. So down here, we have the, I think it's called the living quarters, or I, I don't know what these, I have, I have no experience with boats, but I'm just going to say living quarters. Over here, oh, I closed myself in. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Over here, we have a, um little compartment for the wheel maybe a, like a little maintenance bay not quite sure here we go i assume this is the same yep cool there we go um back here we have like a little dining room 
We got a stove and a little cabinet here. And this is the stove. It doesn't have any function, but it looks really nice actually. I like that design. Okay, back here we have the bedroom with a little desk and um, uh, I guess that's a dresser. Huh, all right. Really nice designs. And back here what we have is some more compartments for the tires. Yep. And over here, I think this leads us to the bathroom. <laughs> What's that do? Oh, that's the lock. Okay, I was curious. So if we press this, and we press it, we can't get barged in on. <laughs> Alright, pretty nice. Um, he had that design in his previous modern house. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was pretty insane. And up here, I think this leads us back to the top of the deck. Okay, we're gonna hop up. And this leads us to the front of the ship. Pretty cool. We got like a little beach chair. A radio. And listen to some music. And relax. On the open... Desert. <laughs> okay, we should probably get the water placed so we can take this for a spin. There we go. Looks pretty nice. Now it looks a little weird with the... With the modern house, beach, resort, island, whatever. I don't know what it's called. But we're going to hop on our boat here. <laughs> on our yacht. And we're going to take it for a cruise or a little roll, I guess. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Now, if we were playing on the regular map, we could have like... Kind of like waves and stuff with the actual map depth and stuff like that. But if we go too far up or down, it'll make the boat sink or hover. Or drive on land, which is kind of funky. But this looks this looks pretty realistic, I guess. Even though it's really shallow. <laughs> but look at that. Isn't this yacht pretty sweet? I like it. Anyways, if you guys want to check this yacht out, go check it out in the description. The download link is in the description to his workshop file. Go give him some support. It is amazing. A lot of detail in the ship, and he didn't even use any mods to design it, which is amazing. Alright, let's park this yacht at our little dock here. And let's hop out. There we go. And I'm actually going to stop the radio. There we go. I kind of cheated, but whatever. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention that there is a little... Um, I think this is a little hot tub right on the back here. They're very cool. Now it's... um glass because there's no actual real other water in the game and we can't place that in here to kind of simulate that that's only that's a static static um object right there all right now i'm gonna prop this up on a lift so it gives us some better frames there we go look at that look at that frame increase <laughs> so we're gonna check out the modern house now there is a lot of detail in this modern house it is pretty small compared to his other one and it's a little more compact, but very awesome. Look at the architecture and the design on this. He is very good at designing buildings and very good at interior decoration. Now, we got some nice little grass lights here. And um, a little yard, I guess. <laughs> and over here, we have a little duck. Now, he had this little duck sitting on a table in his other modern house as well. I don't know the purpose. Maybe it's like a little signature. A little signature of his creations. I'm not sure. Now, I don't know what these purple things are. Oh, oh, oh. oh. These are flowers. These, these are flowers. I don't know how I didn't realize that these were, were flowers. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Pretty, pretty unique way to make flowers, actually. Huh. All right, so we're gonna check out the inside of the house now. I'm gonna open up the doors here, double doors, with the button method, with the logic gates, very nice. Now, I don't really like using the button method for my builds because it uses up a little more space, takes up a little more time, and if I'm building bigger creations, it could be quite a hassle. But anyways, here is the living room. Now, I'm going to try my best to actually press every single button in this house because I had some people telling me I missed some buttons even though they didn't really do anything at all. A lot of this stuff in the house here is for decoration. At least I think it is. I'm not sure. I'm sure a lot of these buttons do stuff, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna do some trial and error to figure that out. Alright, on this table we have 
a button that turns the TV on and we got like a little animation here of a guy just running across the screen. Now I don't think it replays. I think you gotta keep pressing it to play it. <laughs> oh, I just messed it up. Watch out, he's gonna get you. <laughs> and we have a very nicely designed couch here with the new pillows. Thanks to the last update with the pillows. I have no clue what the pillows use are other than just being for aesthetic design. <laughs> yeah, I actually like the pillows. I really like the pillows because it's better than using the signs. I think these are sodi sodi pops or pop on the table here. And back here we have the little area that I attach to the modern house back here for the flyer. We'll get to that in a bit. All these open like this. Pretty cool. All right, and back here we have the kitchen. Oh, oh, there's a duck in the microwave. There's a duck in the microwave. <laughs> All right, and that's a microwave with a duck in it. Um, this is the sinks, another duck. I think he likes ducks a lot more than I do. And we got the stove here. Ooh, look at that design where the buttons turn. Looks pretty realistic. I think you can use buttons instead of switches to turn these on, but I'm not sure if it would really look the same. And up here we have the oven door. Pretty cool. And I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> okay, over here we have a radio. Listen to some music while you're cooking or something. Over here we have the fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to close that. We're just going to close that. He likes ducks more than me. Um, I don't think there's a blue duck though. Not my signature duck. <laughs> but here's the kitchen. Very nice chandelier with the new pipes from the last update. Those pipes are amazing for making decorations inside houses. Especially for the chandeliers. I've never seen them built like this before and it is very unique. We got some lights above the table. Pretty, pretty insanely nicely. Pretty insanely nicely designed. <laughs> I'm trying not to say nice as much as I can. But it is a habit. And we got like some um, architectural designs on these posts or supports very very modern looking okay back here we have the bathroom we're gonna hop in here and we're gonna press this button here and this is gonna actually lock the door here now I don't know what the purpose of locking this door is when you have glass windows here for people to spy on you <laughs> but there we go that's the bathroom we're gonna pop this out see if there's anything hidden in here nope all right I'm gonna hop back out. What's under here? Is this a secret room? I don't know. I think it's just like a little little maintenance area. Yeah, there's electrical stuff here and some plants underneath the stairs. I don't know why there's plants underneath the stairs. But uh, these stairs are really nice actually. They're very modern looking. We're gonna climb up them. What you normally do on stairs. We got some random objects on the side railing here. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a painting. Is there any more paintings? Oh, there's a painting here. Nice. Very, I, I don't know what that says. I think it's, it's art. You don't know what art says. It's art. It's just art. Rugs. <laughs> this one looks pretty cool too. Okay, we got some buttons here. These buttons, I believe, actually open these, um, these windows on the roof. I kind of broke it. I kind of broke it. Um, they're not attached to the um, <laughs> the arm there. And they kind of just fling up if you hit them. Um, we're going to press this one to give you guys an example though. There we go. Look at that. See what I mean? <laughs> Pretty nice though. Very, very architectural. Alright. Back here we have the bathroom. With another lock. And another window for people to spy on you. But this one has a shower. A little shower. We can take a shower in here if we need to. Um, hot and cold water. Pretty pretty, pretty standard for bathrooms <laughs> and showers. Oh, there's towels on the wall though. I actually haven't seen many towels on walls of builds before. Huh. We got more paintings. Um, more decorations. Books. I think those are books. I don't know what those are. 
a duck as well. Why am I hitting stuff? I don't know. Let me just put that away. We're gonna we're gonna press this. This will open the window up here. Um, go in here, and this is the recording room or the gaming room. I'm not sure, but it seems to be like a little recording room. I think. Oh. Oh, okay. So we got the computer right here. This is like the tower, I believe. And we got some buttons here. Press those buttons. All right. I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing. Is this a game? Interesting. I don't know what that does. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. We got the computer. We're gonna shut that off because we're not using it anymore. We got a little stand here. We have a another ceiling window, ceiling window, roof. Roof light, moonlight, I don't know what they call. <laughs> and we got a bronze duck or a brown duck. And we're gonna head back out. Now I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is at all. Um alright. <laughs> we're gonna head over here. And inside here, this is the really small bedroom. Really small bedroom. Um Yeah, it's actually up to my par to actual bedroom sizes. <laughs> I like small bedrooms. And there we go. That's the bedroom with a painting on the wall there. All right. Hop in here. We have the master bedroom. More paintings. And we have a flat screen TV on the wall here. Turn that on. And there's another guy running across the screen. That one does nothing. More buttons to open the ceiling lights. And more alarm clocks. And we have... Um, a laptop? Is that a laptop? I think it's a laptop. More, is this a wardrobe or two dressers? Alright, and then here we have the master bathroom. This is pretty nice bathroom. A little smaller than the other one we've seen. But it's understandable because usually bedroom bathrooms aren't that big unless you're living in a mansion. Now this is like, this is like a modern house mansion. I don't know. I don't know what this is considered. But that's pretty much the house. And we're going to check out the next build down there. He did an awesome job on the modern house here. Now this episode is probably going for quite a while. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, my rambling goes on for quite a bit. I am sorry guys. <laughs> Alright. And we're going to head out here. To the back little helipad that I built. We're going to hop in the flyer here. Now this is the FK60, like I said before. We're going to take a quick gander at the controls here. So one, turn on hover, okay. Recalibrate thrusters is two. Pitch up, pitch down, roll left, roll right. Altitude increase, altitude decrease, and reverse. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Turn on hover. Seven will give us a boost up like this. Awesome. Take a look. Take a look at that view. All right. Okay, oh, oh, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. All right, let's take this for a, a little drive. Okay, we got the up one like this. Look at this, whoa. Now, can we do a backflip is my question. It might mess up the gyros, but maybe not. This is a good test for the gyros. There we go. All right. Now I gotta figure out the controls. It's a little funky. Ooh, the main seat there's a little messed up. All right, let's reset this because I think the backflip might have messed it up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's try this out once again. Seven to ascend. And let's try out our roll. Once we get some air. All right. All right, here we go. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a vehicle do that before with the seat that stays level with the ground. It's like its own little gyroscope. That's insanely awesome. Alright, he did an awesome job on this. I really like it. Let's see if we can land this thing back at the house here. I'm gonna try to slow down. Okay. I'm gonna go forward. Descend a bit. If I can remember which one's descent. Nine. Nine is descent. Alright, I think we could do this. This one's a lot nicer than some of them I've seen. Okay, here we are. Oh, a little rough. A little rough. We can fix that. There we go. We landed back where we kind of started. 
turn that off. And there we go, guys. Those are Doge Lords. Three creations. They are amazing. He does such an awesome job on creating these things. And like I said, guys, if you have any of your own submissions you want to send me, send them to the email address on the screen. I usually prioritize on maps and very unique creations. But anyways, guys, that's Doge Lord's creations. Go check them out in the description if you guys want to download them yourself. And also go check out the MJM and Durf water mod and beach mod. It is amazing. It adds some awesome possibilities for this game, even though it is pretty simple. You can do some pretty cool things with it, make some pretty cool illusions with water. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.